Um, what I want to know from you, and this is important, is what the people of the community... What, what do the people in Standish think about hotels full of asylum seekers? Good morning, Jeremy. Yeah, well, that is my job, to get out to these communities, get out of London and speak to the good people of Great Britain. As you mentioned, I'm here in Standish, right by Wigan. Standish is a small town of about 13,000 people. And there's a hotel called the Britannia in town, which has been used to house asylum seekers for the last three years. There's about 270 staying there at the moment. And there's also another hotel, a four-star spa hotel called Kille Court, which is just out of town. And that's now currently housing around 100, 120 asylum seekers there. So we're talking about 400 asylum seekers in a town of about 13,000 people. And people here are slightly concerned, certainly as to that level of asylum seekers in their community, which they say is putting a strain on the local, uh, local businesses, the local economy, and also especially something that Robert Jenrick mentioned in his address to the House yesterday was that hotels like Kille Court should be assets to the local community. It's somewhere that's used to host weddings. It's a big function centre and parties as well. And uh, he would like to return those. So I think what I've found is the people in Standish are generally supportive of, of getting Kille Court back to use for their weddings. I know a number of weddings were cancelled there recently. Um, they, they, uh, that was taken over by the government in September. And there was a, a protest here. We're just uh, outside the church in, uh, in Standish. There was a protest here and a small counter protest as well, which we might get into in a minute. But I've been in the area for the last 12 hours speaking to the people of Standish. And this is what they told me about the news that the government is going to start closing down some of those asylum seeker hotels. I think that Standish is probably not the right place for them. We're a little bit too rural. And um, I think ever the general consensus in Standish will be it's a, it's a good decision. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind asylum seekers, but there has been a lot of problems going on around it. Not saying that it's them. It's just what you generally hear, like people moaning about and taking over everywhere. If the boot was on the other foot, they'd be screaming the odds the other way, you know. It's just, it isn't fair, you know, and nobody would like to be in that position. And uh, in war-torn countries, we have, we have to be seen to be doing something. So that last guy, I would say, was probably... I think we, had, we spoke to about two or three people who were generally supportive of, of housing this number of asylum seekers here in Standish. But the, the general feeling here is that they would like to get some of their community assets back. I'm here with local councillor, independent councillor Maureen O'Byrne. Maureen, you know, some concerns I'm hearing from the local community. One is, you know, they'd like those assets back, but also... Uh, safety as well. Are those legitimate concerns? Yeah, they both. There, there's definitely been economic effects on the village. People who maybe were having weddings, the guests would come into the town, come and have a drink, um, spend something in the shops, restaurants. So that has definitely declined. But also there have been a lot of um, ladies especially worried about um, local walks around the village. If you suddenly have 400 young men sort of imposed on your community, you, maybe from a different culture, whether the genuine are perceived, people have definitely been um, feeling a little frightened, yes. Right, OK. And, and there, was a, there was a protest here about Kille Court being used and a counter-protest, and those counter-protesters were saying, you know, actually, it's just people are racist and actually... You know, there is racism involved in, in not wanting people in those communities, like Standish. Is, is that fair? I don't think it's fair at all. And um, I think sometimes people have been wrongly labelled. There are always maybe a couple of racists about, but most people in Standish are genuine, welcoming people, not racist. But anyone who thinks, like, um, a small place can sustain an extra 400 people with demand on services, dentists, dentist, doctors. We've also got a housing crisis in Wigan. Um, people, local people are having to be moved um, out of town into hotels. Um, it's just a, se a sense of fairness, really, not racism at all. OK, Maureen O'Byrne, local councillor, thank you very much. So, you know, the general sense as I'm getting is that the community is welcoming towards asylum seekers. We know we do have a, a right to process those claims, as we know. Around 65%, 70% of asylum claims are granted, but they would like that community asset back. And the government has specifically mentioned Wigan. So the people up here generally happy about this news.